Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today, I want to talk to you about micro SD cards and I bought even more than the ones I'm holding in my hand. And today, I want to explain what all these values and numbers and abbreviations mean so that you can choose the perfect card for your device. Stay tuned, don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe. The packaging of the various microSD cards look promising. One seems to be faster and safer than the other. We often find a highlighted number, in this case 95 megabytes per second, printed onto the packaging. Hey, 95 sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, it is good but somewhat negligible, as it represents the maximum read speed only, meaning how fast the card is capable of transferring files, for example, to a computer under the very best circumstances. Often, writing new files to the card is a lot more critical though than the reading part, for example, when filming in Full HD or 4K, taking raw photographs or using burst mode. Therefore, knowing the maximum read speed is nice, but knowing the write speed is a lot more important. You usually find the number somewhere at the back of the packaging only, and yes, mostly it is a lot slower than the read speed, even though the card shown right now is one of the fastest ones you can buy for money. The number displayed is an ideal value and not a guaranteed minimum write speed. How can you determine the real speed and performance of a card? At first, a few microSD card basics. MicroSD cards are tiny and measure 11 mm by 15 mm by 0.7 mm only, while weighing 0.25 grams. You will, in mid-2017, find microSD cards with a capacity ranging from a few megabytes up to 256 gigabytes, even though cards with a capacity of up to 2 terabytes should become available within the next few years. When taking a closer look at the microSD card itself, we find many letters, numbers and abbreviations. Let me briefly explain those as they are the key to figuring out which one to finally choose. MicroSD cards with a total capacity of less than 4 GB are named microSD cards only. Plain and simple. If a microSD card is capable of storing more than 4 GB though, it is named an HC, high capacity card. If the card stores more than 32 GB, it is named an XC, extended capacity card. The card's total capacity in gigabytes can of course be found as well, in this case 16 gigabytes. You can purchase microSD cards ranging from a few megabytes up to 256 gigabytes maximum. Most devices do not support cards with a capacity larger than 64 gigabytes. You should take a look at the specifications of your drone or camera or smartphone before buying a card with a lot of storage space. Most microSD cards have an older speed rating printed onto them in number inside a circle. The speeds are divided into classes. Class 2, Class 4, Class 6 and Class 10 are available. The number addresses the minimum guaranteed read and more importantly write speed in megabytes per second. A Class 10 card is therefore able to read and write with speeds of 10 megabytes per second minimum. For filming in HD and shooting basic JPEGs even though not in burst mode, a normal Class 6 card might be fine already even though not in all cases. But for Full HD or even 4K filming, burst shooting and raw photography, a Class 10 card is required. Luckily, class 10 cards usually don't cost a lot of extra money, maybe a dollar or two compared to a class 6 card for example. The new and more relevant rating for modern technology is named UHS, Ultra High Speed. The classification is really important when it comes to for example 4K filming, raw or burst photography or quick read and write speeds in general. There are two UHS classes, either class 1 or class 3. The number is printed inside a big U letter. UHS class 1 is an equivalent to speed class 10 that we just talked about, meaning that data can be written onto the card with a minimum sequential speed of 10 megabytes per second. UHS class 3 therefore has a minimum read and write speed of 30 megabytes per second, which often is a requirement for ultra high resolution filmmaking. Most 4K cameras won't even accept cards that do not have a UHS class 3 rating. Finally, some of the very new cards have another speed rating printed onto them them, the VSC Video Speed Class Rating. Again, there are different speed ratings. V6, which is an equivalent to Class 6, V10, which is an equivalent to Class 10 and UHS Class 1. Next to that, 
V30, which is an equivalent to UHS Class 3, and next to that we find V60 and V90. The number given does not have to be explained any further, it gives you the minimum read and write speed. V10 means that the card is capable of reading and writing with a minimum speed of 10 megabytes per second, while V90, for example, allows a minimum read and write speed of 90 megabytes per second. Summarizing the info, if you're about to film in 4K, choose a card with a minimum capacity of 16GB Class 10 and UHS Class 3, or any microSD card with a V30 rating. A typical drone, for example the DJI Phantom 4 Pro, films in 4K at 100 megabits per second, not bytes, and this might be one of the most made mistakes of all, bits and bytes are not the same. 8 bits are equal to 1 byte. The calculation therefore is pretty simple. 100 megabits divided by 8 make 12.5 megabytes. Technically it would therefore be enough to just choose any card showing a UHS class 3 or VS class 30 rating as they have a minimum writing speed of 30 megabytes per second. There are huge differences though when taking cards with the very same rating to the test. I did so and compared 10 16 GB class 10 UHS class 3 micro SD cards to find out which one worked out the best and which one could not survive the real life test. You will find the video plus another extreme durability test plus links to all micro SD cards tested at tomstechtime.com slash micro SD together with my recommendations. Now don't forget to check out tomstechtime.com slash microSD for two more test videos where I not only talk about the tech specs but about how they really behave and don't forget to check that out. And next to that don't forget to leave a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe, I gotta hurry because I only have 20 seconds at the end of the video. Bye bye, stay tuned, play safe.